am and this is just my background I am uh, walking to the store I took one for the team this time because Nate was the store earlier and um, I thought I had a certain amount of spices for the pho that I was making sorry if it gets dark some people have decorations some people don't and you may not see me but uh yeah so I'm walking over to Jewel which is not far from my house but it's annoying because I was all ready to cook and all of a sudden certain spices are missing and I wanted to make sure that I made the pho right with all the spices so here I am going to the store um, I just walked out Nate was doing some stuff around the house so this is vlog vlog I keep wanting to call this vlog tour vlogmas y'all so it's me walking to the store hopefully this jewel don't really have a lot of I mean it's decent um but I don't carry as much stuff as I would like for it to carry um hopefully they have the spices I am looking for I need some clove and I think coriander and maybe like one more other thing hopefully they have it y'all if not we just show must go on because I'm making that soup tonight <laughs> um my pho yeah so uh yeah i'm just walking just, just going with me um i'm in the alley but don't worry it's like a safe alley <laughs> this is how i used to i take this way all the time to jewel uh i do all the side streets and all the back ways because it's faster um yeah because jewel you, you can see i'll turn it is right here straight through this alley instead of walking all the way around which I'm not about to do and you just got to walk through the alley sure I don't mind walking through alleys anyway like over in my neighborhood and then like you're about to get jumped in the alley it's not really about to happen over here so yeah I'm just walking walk through this big ass parking lot and hopefully fingers crossed they have all the stuff that I'm looking for because Lord knows I'm hungry I haven't ate nothing all day. Nate hasn't ate nothing all day. We are starving and I just want this food to be done already, y'all. So pray for me. <laughs> I'm hungry. All right, I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace. Peace. Let me turn on my instant pot to saute. And I need to saute or char because it's supposed to have charred. Um, onion and ginger i have right here the onion and the ginger is here i'm going to be charring that and i'm just going to probably pause and start pause and start um when it comes to this because a lot of this stuff's going to take like longer excuse me i'm going to open my back door a bit um it takes like it's boring to watch is what I'm saying is the first thing I need to do is char the onion and the ginger and I'm going to do that now um, after this is heated up it's just started as you know but um, I can tell you guys what spices are gonna go in next after I char this you are need coriander you're gonna need cloves I will post the recipe or the link to the recipes that I followed some people I looked at a few different recipes but the main one I was following is the one that was instapot for the instapot instant pot fennel um cinnamon stick y'all spices I thought I had these spices actually I didn't think I had it I know I had these spices but stuff got lost along my move apparently and I wasn't aware of it. Um, some people put uh, cardamom in this as well. Uh, I didn't, couldn't find any, don't have any. So it's not going, going to be in here. There's a uh, star anise, anise, anise in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and add my onion. Well, it's not hot yet. <laughs> It don't matter, y'all, because it's going to char anyway, so I got to, it's going to be a bit before it's, but I'm just going to add, my hands are clean up and washed, I'm just, it's sizzling now, but I'm going to 
This is my Instant Pot on the saute function. I need to char these first. Uh, usually they say char on the fire or grill as far for pho, but I'm trying them this way. I saw it for the Instant Pot uh, version. I saw that this was a sufficient way to do it if you're going to do it. Um, so I'm charring them here. And yeah, when I get to the next step, I will come back to y'all. I'll wait, hold on. I'll let y'all see what it looked like in the Instant Pot. Charring the stuff. It's not that eventful, but I'll let y'all see it. So I will see y'all soon. And sorry, this is just not a good angle, but I'm trying to get y'all closer because I don't want to do y'all on top of the refrigerator this time. I want y'all to, to zoom in on stuff. But when I get to the next step, I'll come back. Y'all, I'm back. I am going to add all the spices. It's been charring for five minutes is what they say. These are the aromatics. I'm going to put these in for a minute so they can get fragrant. And then I need to put the fish sauce. Got fish sauce right here. Fish sauce. The sugar I'm using. Because uh, you can either use rock sugar or sugar in the raw. I'm using sugar in the raw. And... Um, my uh, cilantro and my chicken and I will be right back and show y'all what that looks like and when I close the instant pot and all that I'm gonna yeah I'll be back and show y'all all that and how that looks hold on I have put the chicken the I'm trying to show y'all I didn't want to go back and forth the chicken is in here the onion is charred that's cilantro and um Everything's in there. The aromatics are in there. This is fish sauce. It's going in. And then it says to put the uh, uh, water in. And I'm just going to fill this up good with water. It says two quarts. Ugh. water so it's above the chicken so it can all pressure cook y'all I used um, it's two legs in here uh, a breast and a I was gonna do a whole chicken but that's too much for us for just for this soup or whatever um, two legs a breast a wing a thigh and I think like some other part like the side of the meat I don't know side of the chicken or something that was in there because I, I, I think the neck or something because I thought that would add some more flavor because I cut up a whole chicken myself y'all so I just put what I needed in here and then I put the other chicken to the side for another day and yeah y'all about to get this going it's all in here. I'm about to lock and load it. And when it's done, I will show y'all. I want to, I'm going to stop this because I don't like y'all when I'm handling food. That's why it's hard for me to record without somebody else being here because I don't want to like touch stuff and then come back and Nate is in the other room doing something else and I don't want to bother him. So it's just hard. And I will put the recipe of how I did it. This is just a really rough me showing y'all the basics of what I'm doing and if you have any questions just let me know I will put who I got the inspiration from um in the in the bot in the, uh in my uh description so don't worry about it um and they will show you a very thorough very you know this is me y'all <laughs> this is how I cook this is how I this is me genuinely how I would have did it and I'm just showing y'all. I just wanted to share this with y'all so y'all know how I'm doing it. It's my first time making pho, pho ga, to be specific. And it smells really, really good. I'm very excited. I'm about to put the seal this up, put it on pressure cook. It says 30 minutes. I'm gonna. It takes 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to come to pressure. 
I'm gonna let it come to pressure and I'm gonna let it naturally release so once I get to all that I will show y'all the finished product and they say to strain it so you can strain all the stuff out I don't know if I'm gonna do that some people do it some people don't I got a strainer I probably will do it because they say if you want a clear broth and not you know I don't know whatever whatever <laughs> but I'm gonna do it y'all this smells really really good I'm excited we have some bami sandwiches and we have some uh, spring rolls too to go with this from a Vietnamese new line placed by our house and we're gonna be eating that with this pho I, it's just taking me so long y'all I'm gonna show y'all my struggles of going back to the store I put a clip in I don't know if it's gonna be now or before this but I'll let y'all I'll let y'all see that too I gotta put all these clips together so you can come to a full video and I will show y'all me mukbang us mukbang in it mukbang mukbang whatever but yeah I will see y'all soon love y'all I'm put this on so I don't got another minute to waste because it's already 6 15 and we hungry and we haven't ate all day and 30 minutes probably in an hour I'll see y'all but it's just gonna jump to me eating <laughs> or jump to the finished product I'll show y'all the finished thing when it's in here all right love y'all peace hey y'all I already depressurized the instant pie. I'm just gonna take the top off. Put it to the side. And I'm gonna let y'all see what it looks like. Everything is cooked through. This is the look at that. Do you see how that chicken? just came apart it's very done and good so I'm gonna I probably will try to sh I'm gonna just pick out some chicken and I don't know cuz I gotta figure out how I'm gonna serve this cuz I don't want all this stuff in the so I might strain it we'll see well you'll see in a minute when I um separate everything so it's not like so much stuff all in it like the spices and stuff but look it's fall off the bone like look look at that y'all see that that's the chicken breast wait sorry look at that fall off the bone everything's fall off the bone look that that leg fall off the bone fall off the bone so I want to be careful because I want to plate it nicely so we all have a good piece of meat and noodles and all that so I will be back